Graham Phillips of Schneider Electric. Welcome to the IR Magazine Awards Europe 2023 here in London. Delighted to see you. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much for having us, James. Now, Schneider Electric is up for a few awards tonight. Can you tell us what the categories are and a bit about the work that went into those entries? Yes, thank you. Uh, so we're up for two awards this evening with the corporate transaction uh, and, the, uh, and the website. So in terms of those two categories, uh, we uh, had a large transaction uh, complete earlier this year uh, on uh, purchasing the minorities of Aviva. Uh, so it all went through uh, successfully and we have uh, obviously dedicated teams internally uh, working on, uh, on the transaction at the time and uh, obviously they completed that successfully. Uh, on the website, uh, we did launch uh, a new website including a new IR portal uh, within that. Uh, so it was revamped to improve the interaction and interface for all those in concern. So that would be analysts, investors, uh, and other interested people that uh, want to see about the, uh, the Schneider Electric Equity story. Fantastic. Congratulations on that acquisition and launch. Fascinating. Can I ask you, what is top of mind in investor relations for you and your team at the moment? Uh, well, at Schneider Electric, we have a very uh, strong equity story uh, at the moment, which is uh, all around uh, sustainability, uh, digitization, uh, and electrification. Uh, so that's a uh, natural uh, part of uh, what we uh, talk and interact with investors on. Uh, as, of course, uh, people will know as well, we have a new chief executive. Um, so he's already had some interactions with uh, investors on, on that front. Uh, we also have a capital markets day that we've announced for November the 9th this year. Um, so we're working hard on, on that uh, and of course there's the usual things that uh, investor relations teams work on which is obviously uh, making sure the equity story is well understood by investors and analysts and of course H1 results on the 27th of uh, July. So a packed calendar, best of luck with your CMD by the way.